Welcome to Truth Transforms Devotions. My Bible just happened to open up here to Romans chapter 1 verse 1. And so I'm going to give a few very brief thoughts. But uh, in Romans 1 1 it reads, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God. When I looked at that, the first thing I thought of is that this is the Apostle Paul. Uh, this is a man of great importance. This is a man that uh, before his conversion as Saul of Tarsus, uh, he, he was saying, I am a Pharisee of Pharisees, meaning that he was uh, among the greatest of the religious elite. But God saved him. There was a miraculous conversion, and he was turned from being a God-hater to a God-fearer. Uh, he, he was, God, God turned his direction from being one that was persecuting the church of God to one that was leading the church of God. But yet he opens up this letter not saying, I'm Paul, an apostle. I'm Paul, a man of great importance. I'm Paul, someone that you ought to really look to and uh, uh, highly esteem. He opens up the letter by saying, I am Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus. He says, I am, I am a slave. I am a slave to my master, my king, my Lord, Jesus Christ. Uh, we ought to think that way as we go about our day, as we go about our life. We are servants to our king, to our Lord, to our master, Jesus Christ. And we ought to live in obedience to God. Uh, we ought to live with our faith in Christ and, and live to the glory of God in everything that we do. Uh, no matter what your day encounters today, uh, it, let it be submitted to God's word. Let it be submitted to the Spirit's leading. Uh, when, we think, when you think about your plans, when you think about what you want to do, when you think about uh, what you need to get done for work, be very prayerful throughout the day. And remember that God is with you at all times, the good and the bad. And keep your mind focused on God, uh, no matter what kind of day it is, because God is testing us in every circumstance, and we need to be uh, mindful of what God is doing in our heart and in our life, and always walking in obedience to Him as servants of Christ Jesus. And then Paul says that he's called to be an apostle set apart for the gospel of God. Uh, of course, Paul was called to be an apostle. That was a special office uh, for the apostles. And he was set apart for the gospel of God, which is something that we can all uh, apply to ourselves. The fact that we are set apart, we are sanctified, we are separated uh, to preach the good news. Uh, we're all called to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Uh, we're called to, to make disciples and to teach them to observe all, uh, all the commandments of God. Uh, that is our call, and that is what we must focus on. So let us remember that we are servants of Christ Jesus, slaves to our King, our Lord, our Master, Jesus Christ, and because we love him and because we serve him, we want to obey him and be set apart uh, to be walking in holiness and to be sharing his love, his truth, and the great gospel message with the world. And of course, that message is that uh, we all have sinned. We've fallen short of the glory of God. God is holy and we are not. We are all uh, depraved. We are all uh, have fallen short of perfection, but because of what was done on that cross, Jesus Christ, uh, God sent his son and he lived a perfect life and, and, and died on that cross and was raised again on the third day. And if we would just simply believe in the work that he had done, repent of our former way of living and follow Christ, we will be born again. You will be born again. Again, And so if you've not believed in that hope, believe upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. And if you know the Lord, then remember that truth and glory in that truth and share that truth with others. God bless you as you go about your day. Thank you for watching. I do hope that was a blessing. Uh, if you did appreciate that, be sure to like it, share it with others. 
And uh, hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. You'll be notified of new videos whenever they come out. And God bless you. Have a great day.